Welcome back to the YouTube channel guys. I know a lot of you people find it difficult to choose a college so I thought I'd help you. Uh, but there was too many requests on Instagram and there were too many common questions so I thought I'd make a video about it so here we are. And one of the most common questions that I faced, everyone faces, that I already posted a poll on it uh, which ended in a tie. So uh, here it goes. If you are a student who loves the subject and who wants to go to a specific job and settle a safe a secure job and settle that's what you want i would actually suggest to go for a branch in any college okay if that's what you want but if you belong to case 2 where you are more of uh, you want to explore the world maybe you want to uh, start a startup you want to explore the world you want to make money you want to take risk you are willing to take risks then guys i would suggest you to go for the option 2 where you need to get into a good college irrespective of the branch because a good college gives you a uh, huge uh, uh, exposure. <coughs> the kind of exposure that you make when you go to a college, a good college, is a whole different thing. Uh, take me for an example. I'm from electrical engineering, but trust me, uh, I didn't really learn anything from my branch. Okay, I don't really work in electrical engineering anymore. Uh, I'm more in, more in teaching, but the kind of exposure that I got in IITs was a whole different thing. I'm just uh, thankful for that thing for the ent uh, entire my life okay so it's a whole different thing trust me if you belong to case to where you're willing to take risk and where you are uh, more of a you know you want to explore where, where, where you are more of an explorer then i would totally suggest you to go for uh, case to where you go for a good college with a lot of uh, history and a lot of alumni and that's what i suggest you go for case two and just go for a good college it doesn't really matter what branch it is okay uh, and let's just look, look through one, one of the few messages uh, I received one of these messages saying the first question is IIT is really important getting into an IIT is really important there was a long message after that I would actually end this a video with that message okay that's a really important question or IIT is really important that important to get into I would actually discuss that question at the end of the video if you just want the answer for that person just skip to the end of the video okay and one more message from this girl, ECE Rurki or Kanpur Electrical. Wow, we've got a topper here, I guess. But yeah, let me tell you, as long as you are going for an IIT experience, you want that exposure. Trust me, in IITs, you don't really learn a lot from the branches. It's always the exposure, that the kind of exposure that you get and the kind of uh, freedom and the responsibilities that you learn. It's a, it's a whole different thing. So I would always suggest to go to one of the old IITs to get all the kind of uh, exposure that you can. Okay. And I receive a lot of messages regarding can I join branches like metallurgy, engineering design, engineering physics in IITs like IIT Madras and IIT Bombay. Guys, are you kidding me? There are IIT Bombay and IIT Madras. Not a single branch there is a silly branch, okay? Let me get this uh, straight to you people. You don't hear a lot uh, about these names, but these branches are really good. Let me give you an example about my college, okay? We used to have a branch. We, the branch is still there. It's called as Mining Missionary, okay? It, it sounds like a silly branch, but this branch just completely parallelly goes with mechanical engineering. All the four years, they combinedly study the same. They even get, the, get placed in the same branches and they leave with different degree. That's the only difference that you get. And there's a branch called Mineral Engineering. It sounds silly, right? But the mineral engineering is one of the few branches which get 100% placement. And there's a branch called environmental engineering. It so sounds so silly, but in our batch, there were students with backlogs, yet the companies wanted to uh, take hire those people. Okay, so you don't know anything about these branches. So just get make an idea, get an idea about these branches, then only make a call. How do you get an idea? Of course, you talk to the uncles who go through WhatsApp messages and give you suggestions like better mechanical engineering is evergreen, electrical engineering is always great. No, don't do that, okay? What I suggest you is talk to seniors. If you have any seniors, if you school seniors or college seniors which who are already in the IITs in specific branches, go and talk to them. If you don't have any seniors, uh, try to come and reach me on my Instagram page and I will definitely try to connect with any of the students that I have. All, I have uh, students in almost all IITs and NITs, so I can connect you with those people. And there is this question about triple ITs, okay? Guys, did you know this? Triple IT Hyderabad offers one of the best computer science program which is almost on par with IIT Bombay CS. Do you know that? So uh, triple ITs are also good. You need to get this knowledge from seniors. You need to talk to a lot of people before you actually make judgments like 
uh, computer science and electrical and mechanical and electronics are the only good branches okay there are a lot of other good branches out there i totally suggest to to talk to people talk to me or talk to other seniors and get a better idea about it and i receive a lot of questions about nits but genuinely speaking i don't really have a lot of knowledge about nits but definitely i can connect you with a lot of students of mine who are already in the nits so but i i believe it's the same thing with iits if you are willing to go for a specific branch then go for the specific branch otherwise if you are not really clear about the branch i would always suggest you to go to a, a, an old nit where there is a lot of heritage there is a lot of uh, past there is a lot, a lot of history and good alumni okay that's where you get all the exposure from that's what i would suggest it's the same thing with the nits also that's what i believe so yeah definitely try to reach me i can connect you with an, any any of my old students and there are questions about preparatory course now what exactly is preparatory course i'll tell you what a preparatory course is in iits if you are from scst categories they offer you a course called preparatory course where you actually join the college you get the same treatment that you got in plus 1 plus 2 you get to go, get to go through the same topics and the, at the end of the year you will go through an exam and according to the results from that exam you will actually get to choose a branch in the college i think it's a huge opportunity with, for people with category so yeah even if you have doubts regarding preparatory course you can definitely uh, ask me so try to get into one of the best iits try to do as well as possible and then you get to choose uh, your branch so that is a great opportunity for you people if you are getting a preparatory course i would broadly suggest you to go for it now i received some questions about dropping a year basically long term right so guys i have an answer for you about this thing if you are a serious a sincere student and you have a lot of control on yourself and it's just the exam that has went bad it's totally okay to go to long term it's not even okay it's a great thing to go to long term because you have a great uh, another year to prepare and if you are a sincere student you would the chances are very high that you will get a, a rank but if you are a student who's not really that sincere and don't really have that much of control on yourself I actually don't uh, suggest you to go to long term dropping a year is a bad idea but in fact I have an option for you uh, I have some students have done this thing join a college parallelly prepare with your first year preparation and make it through but that's a very far fetch option but you have to really really work hard on that so if you are a really sincere student yeah go for long term if you're really confident about it but if you're a student which is not you're not uh, that self confident or uh, self control lack of self control i would actually suggest you not to go for a, a long term or dropping a year is a bad idea in my opinion now that brings us to the first question which is the last question for this video session is getting into an iit that important and this student goes along long with this message saying she has to go through a lot of pressure a lot of tension and is it really worth going through yeah this is a very good question i i'm glad that you asked let me answer this in your own words let's just say you're playing t20 cricket is hitting a six in the first over important yeah is hitting three sixes in the second over great for sure is hitting five sixes in the fifth over is it great definitely but is it going to win you the match is it going to win you the ipl series no right so it's just like the same thing guys uh, taking your entire life it's like you are in the fifth over okay hitting six sixes is a great thing for sure getting into an iit is a great thing but is it going to win you the match no i can't really say that okay yeah hitting sixes at every point of a time is a great thing but if you cannot score good in the fifth over that doesn't mean you lost the match okay you have plenty of time you can perform very bad at till the end of the match and in the 19th over you could be rahul tewatia you know who hit five sixes in the last match he won the match for them right so so is getting into an iit or nit that important guys yes it would give you a great boost but that is not the end of life that's not the only way to success there are tons and tons of other ways to go for success you can reach me i'll suggest you a lot of other ways to go to a successful career i've personally seen a lot of students who took multiple ways and they're quite successful in their careers so i would uh, like to uh, just wrap up this video telling you one thing okay don't let these little numbers and little averages and little marks and little ranks uh, tell you what you are worth of okay you are definitely worth a lot more than that just put your hard work in and walk through it and you will definitely find success 
and lastly guys if you're still preparing for je i suggest you go to my youtube channel there is a lot of interesting stuff there and uh, if you're looking for full fledged physics lessons i suggest you to go to examtracker.com they are absolutely free and don't forget to follow us on instagram all the best thank you so much and bye bye need his name up in lights he just wants to be heard whether it's the beat of the mic he feels so unlike everybody else alone in spite of